Hello, welcome to PSA Connect Media and you are watching today's talk. PM congratulates Indian cricket team on winning ICC Under-19 T20 World Cup. Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi has congratulated the Indian women's cricket team on winning the ICC Under-19 T20 World Cup. Putting a tweet by BCCI Women, the Prime Minister tweeted, Congratulations to the Indian team for a special win at the ICC Under-19 T20 World Cup. They have played excellent cricket and their success will inspire several upcoming cricketers. Best wishes to the team for their future endeavors. Bengaluru all set to host the first G20 Energy Transition Working Group meeting under India's presidency. The first G20 Energy Transition Working Group meeting under India's presidency will be held in Bengaluru from Feb 5 to 7, 2023. The meeting will have over 150 participants, including G20 member countries, nine special invited guest countries, Bangladesh, Egypt, Mauritius, Netherlands, Nigeria, Oman, Singapore, UAE, and Spain. In addition, leading international organizations such as the World Bank, Asian Development Bank, United Nations Development Programme, International Energy Agency, Clean Energy Ministerial, Knowledge Partners, etc. will be part of the meeting. Senior government officials from the concerned ministries will also participate in the ETWG meeting. Karnataka is extending support and coordination for the meeting. As part of the first ETWG meeting, delegates will also visit Infosys Green Building, Campus and Pavagara Solar Park to see first-hand India's push towards renewable sector and efforts to mitigate climate change. Niti Aayog hosted UN General Assembly President and dignitaries during their bilateral visit to India. Niti Aayog hosted United Nations General Assembly President Kasaba Kurosi and other distinguished dignitaries during their bilateral visit to India. The delegation exchanged ideas and solutions on water conservation, the transition to a circular economy and India's approach towards sustainability among other topics. Delhi Metro partners with Airtel Payment Bank to provide one more Metro Smart Card top-up facility to its commuter. The top-up facility of Delhi Metro Smart Cards will now be possible through the Airtel Payment Bank, India's only profitable multi-segment fintech operating at scale with a banking license. This new initiative by the Delhi Metro and Airtel Payment Bank is focused on contributing to governments vision of digital India and financial inclusion by taking digital transaction services to the doorstep of every individual. This new facility will be of great convenience to the commuters since this will allow them to use one more reliable option to recharge their smart cards through their mobile phones. ONGC's iconic Saga Samrat rededicated to the nation as mobile offshore production unit. Re-coronation of Sagar Samrat is a testament to the courage and willingness to make a difference in the face of uncertainties and the tumultuous forces of nature through realignment and innovation, said the Union Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas and Minister for Housing and Urban Development Sri Hardeep Singh Puri, while rededicating oil and natural gas corporations iconic drilling brick Sagar Samrat as a mobile offshore production unit to the nation. Union Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas Sri Hardeep Singh Puri rededicating the Sagar Samrat to the nation as mobile offshore production unit. In a tweet, the minister said Sagar Samrat now rules the sea as a mobile offshore production unit. Joint energy soldiers of ONGC at the re-coronation of a valuable asset. Sagar Samrat rigged built in 1973 was instrumental in 14 key offshore oil and gas discoveries and drilled around 125 wells. Sri Nanlal Sharma visited under construction 66 megawatt Dhala Sindh hydroelectric project of SJ Wind Limited. Chairman and Managing Director of SJ Wind Limited Sri Nanlal Sharma on 29 January visited, visited under construction 66 megawatt Dhala Sindh hydroelectric project Himachal Pradesh. During his visit, he commenced the concentrating of dam with press of button at Sanotu, Hamirpur. With completion of excavation works at dam, 
pit and both the river banks dam concreting work has commenced now the project has entered into an advanced stage of construction ONGC supported Sagar Defence Engineering with initial investment of rupees 4.54 crore. Committed to facilitating indigenous startups, ONGC supported Sagar Defence Engineering with initial investment of rupees 4.54 crore. It has now conceived India's first unnamed personal aerial vehicle, Varna, to revitalize urban air mobility by delivering on-demand aviation services. Scopes tribute to Mahatma Gandhi's values of ethical leadership on Madras Day. Commemorating the 75th Madras Day Standing Conference of Public Enterprises organized a symposium on ethical leadership for organization integrity, the Gandhian Way. The occasion was addressed by Sri Rohit Kumar Singh, Secretary Department of Consumer Affairs, Dr. Raghunath Mashlekar, former DG CSIR, and Chairman National Innovation Foundation, Sri Atul Sopti, Director General Scope, and Dr. Shobhana Radha Krishna, eminent Kanyan. AAI's Puducherry Airport welcomes delegates coming to attend G20 meeting. AAI's Puducherry Airport welcomes the delegates coming to attend the G20 meeting in the city. Two-day Science 20 inception meeting starts on 30 January 2023. The airport is decorated beautifully with rangolis, depicting the local culture of the region. As India assumed the presidency of the G20 for one year from 1st December 2022 to 30th November 2023, over 200 meetings will be held across the country. AAI airports are all set to welcome the delegates coming to attend these meetings. NSDC collaborated with Odo Edge Space. National Skill Development Council has collaborated with Odor Edge Space to bridge the employability gap between education and industry. Through the upskilling program WorkX Bootcamp, which focuses on providing 21st century relevant skills like data science and business strategy, their students can have access to a four module, five certification program which involves collaboration with Harvard Business School online and further enterprises. Thanks for being with us. Like, share and subscribe. And if you want to say something, kindly put your comments down.